Assalamualaikum. You're watching my YouTube channel, and I am Sajid. Okay, today's video is about uh, ifelse and uh, in Python, and uh, this is our chapter thirty-three or video number thirty-three on Python programming language. Right. So let's start. So before we move forward, let's take a pen. Okay, so this is our first slide in this uh, chapter. So we are going to study if else. If you have studied uh, any other programming language, you might know or be well aware of uh, if else statements. So similarly, uh, we have if else in Python as well. And uh, as you know, if else how they work, like if some condition is true or false, uh, based on that we execute certain uh, line of codes and uh, that's it. So there are many flavors of uh, if else statement. Um, also there are some ways to write it in shorthand form in python so we will be looking at, uh, at them in upcoming slides so so first look at the python conditions because as you know if statements they work around like they work uh, based on conditions so your programming language first of all should have uh, some uh, like support uh, for the usual uh, logical conditions from mathematics for example uh, if a is equal to b uh, not equal less than less than equal to uh, greater than or greater than or equal to so these are different mathematical conditions or logical con uh, conditions from mathematics for which support should be there because we will be using these conditions to uh, to like uh, evaluate uh, uh, certain for example numbers or conditions and then uh, in response to that uh, if else uh, statements will be um, executed properly okay so these conditions can be used in several ways most commonly in if statements and loops so uh, these are you can say the most important part in if statements and uh, loops for example so loops we will uh, study in any uh, in, in one upcoming video so if statement is written uh, uh, by using the if keyword so this if is actually a keyword so on the right side we see one example so where we are saying that there's a number called a is equal to 32 and b is 200 and we are saying if a b is greater than a so this is you know is condition you know we are checking uh, <clears throat> uh, this thing right we just study greater than so if we can know that b is greater than a then will do something and what is that we will print b is greater than a right so in this case the answer will be this one so let's try this <coughs> uh, in python so what we do here is our uh, prompt it's quite big so maybe we can make it smaller <coughs> so let's say a is equal to 33 <coughs> excuse me b is equal to 200 so these are our two variables and we say if b is greater than a do what print b is greater than a okay so let's see what happens yeah so this is important point here you see i have uh, 
uh, typed the next uh, 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 line this print b just below if so this is you know indentation error and in we will see in one upcoming slide that python in the python indentation is very important so if you don't do indentation properly the code will not be executing properly you will get error so let's write it again if b is greater than a right then you give for example two spaces now it will be okay b is greater than a okay and yep so you hey, have you can see the output b is greater than a right so now we know that how to write if statement in python and run it so if b is greater than a print b is greater than a so b is greater than a so we have also seen that if we don't give proper indentation while typing or writing a if statement it will not work okay so this is the concept we just talked about indentation in python relies on indentation white space at the beginning of a line to define scope in the code this is a very important concept okay so other programming languages often do curly brackets for this purpose like you know this here first we have type if and then second line print line so as you know in other other programming language like la java we have curly brackets and, and round brackets to define where the next part of the code is starting so but in python we can see we are not differentiating uh, uh, based on these curly brackets or uh, uh, round brackets what we are doing uh, we, we we are not uh, we are just typing if b is greater than a then we are going to next line so so just to make sure that the sprint is actually under this if statement at the start we should have uh, uh, spaces yeah so this is called indentation if we we don't do this we get error as we have seen our in our previous uh, slide okay so now let's look at another keyword elif elif so this is uh, in python only uh, is and it's a python's way of saying if the previous conditions were not true then try this condition so in this example here if b is greater than a do this and if this condition doesn't work this is like false then we are going for lf and then checking this condition so if for example this condition is true we will print this line so let's try our uh, this example in our this anaconda prompt okay so what we have a is equal to 33 b is equal to also 33 if b is greater than a do what print okay b is greater than a okay and then we do lf a is equal to b then do what print a and b are equal okay so what's gonna happen because you know a and b are equal in this example so our first if is going to fail right so we will enter alif uh, part and here because a and b are equal so we will get answer a and b are equal so see here this is uh, our answer a and b are equal and same we already have this here yeah this thing so this is how uh, alif works Keep remember, Gen uh, Aleph is not. I have not seen it in other programming languages. Uh, it's there in Python. So 
this is something new for you so okay next move to this so else so before we have seen ale before we have seen if statement then we have alif and now we have else so else keyword catches anything which isn't caught by the preceding conditions okay so in the else you know we don't have any condition here so here we have three levels uh, for example if we are saying that a, if b is greater than a right if it's false then we go to uh, alif if a b a is equal to b if this also fails then whatever we have in the else that is executed so a is greater than b so this is going to be our answer so you can also have an else without alif so this is important alif is not uh, mandatory we can have directly else statement after our if statement so this will be our answer okay so right now let's uh, let's look at some interesting things uh, this shorthand if so as you know we can type if, if if you have only one statement to be executed you can put it on the same line as the if statement so we can do this as well and it is totally fine rather than printing it on the new line and but the condition is that if you have only one statement to execute then it can work okay so okay now let's look at another uh, if else uh, shorthand if you have only one statement to execute uh, one for if and one for else you can put it all on the same line how see here print a if a is equal to b else print b so if you have only one statement to execute one for if and one for else right okay then you can put it all on the same line and this technique is known as ternary operators or conditional expressions so this we should try this is interesting so let's see how it works okay a is equal to 2 b is equal to 330 for example and we say print okay a if a is greater than b else print uh, else print b okay see here print a if a is greater than b else print b is so also you can look at the flow it's like a natural language like as if you are saying in english print a if a is greater than b else print b yeah so here as you know a is not greater than b so the answer should be b so let's see yeah see here we have the output which is b okay so this technique is uh, called uh, ternary operators and this is very interesting keep remember this and this works only if you have one statement for if and one statement for else okay right so next we look at this uh, another concept you can have multiple else statements the same line yeah so one line if else statement with three conditions yeah so what we have print a if a is greater than b else print okay else print this if a is equal to b else print b right so as you can see here we have multiple else statements on the same line okay so i hope this is clear to you so let's uh, move to next slide okay this is another in interesting concept here we have and keyword and keyword is logical operator and is used to combine conditional statements like if here we have three parameters uh, three variables a is equal to 200 b is equal to 33 c is equal to 500 
So we are saying if A is greater than B, uh, which, which is true, and C is greater than A, which is also true, then we have to say print both conditions are true. Okay, so we can try this one. Right, so we can say A is equal to 200, B is equal to 33, and C is equal to 500. And what's going to happen if A is greater than B and C is also greater than A, then do what? Don't forget this indentation. Print both conditions are true. Okay. And what's going to happen? Oh, uh, yeah. Both well, condition is true. We have this output y because a is greater than b and c is greater than a. So this is another interesting way uh, to check the conditions by using this and keyword. And keyword. Okay. So next we have our keyword. The our keyword is a logical operator and used to combine conditional statements. Test if a is greater than b or if a is greater than c. So at least one of the conditions is true, then we will be printing this statement. So this is the concept of our, uh, our keyword, right? Okay. Next concept, which we are going to see is called nested if. You can have if statements inside another if statement. This is called nested if. See here in this example, we have if statement and then we have its print statement and then this part is actually another if statement inside the outer if statement yep but be careful the indentation should be proper otherwise you will get error as you can see this line here other print is starting after spaces and this print is also starting after spaces Right, so this is our nested if. Okay, next we have this past statement. This is quite interesting. So if statements cannot be empty, this uh, uh, is a requirement in Python. But if you, but if you for some reason, unknown reason, have an if statement with no content, put it in the past. Uh, putting the past statement to avoid getting an error. So you see here we have two uh, uh, variables a is equal to 33 b is equal to 200 and this is our if statement and we have nothing to execute if b is greater than a so we just write pass and nothing will happen and there will be no error. Okay that's quite interesting so I will wrap up my video here I hope you have uh, understood many concepts about uh, if else in Python and there are differences as compared with other programming languages also these uh, one line shorthand uh, if else statements are quite interesting so <clears throat> also there was a new cons a new keyword elif right so if video was uh, if you have enjoyed it and uh, learned something you please share with your other friends and colleagues so that the other they can also take benefit <coughs> excuse me uh, from it so I will be back with another video soon till that time take care bye bye and Allah Hafiz